Dude, speaking of like the old days, my first fucking girlfriend, like she lived in Minnesota and I went over to her, I like flew over to her place. At the time, like I didn't have a phone. So the way that I got to her address was I wrote it down on a piece of paper and then I hitchhiked from the airport to her place. No then, way. Uh, fuck. <laughs> she told me that I like couldn't stay at her place because like she didn't tell her parents that she had a boyfriend or whatever or like that was coming. So I went on Reddit and I went to r slash Minnesota and I messaged everyone with a copy paste to tell them like, yo, I'm just looking for a place to stay uh, for like a couple weeks. Um, you know, what I can pay fuck? you a little bit of money if you want, but I'm like kind of broke. So then some dudes, some like random dude responded to me and told me that her, her his fiance was like a league fan. But she like didn't play, she like, like didn't watch esports or whatever. She just thought it was cool that I was like a professional league player in season one. So they let me sleep on their couch. And then eventually I got to the point where uh, I didn't really want to go back to their place. So then my girlfriend let me sleep secretly in her closet. And like her parents would come upstairs and like not know that I was legit sleeping in the closet. Oh my God. That is fucking insane. Yeah. What? Some crazy hoops you went through. Just to get laid. I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like most no, I mean, dudes I, I totally will, get it, will yeah. go through the fucking gauntlet to get laid for the first time. <laughs> like, it's such a big Dude. deal until it happens, and then <sighs> afterwards you're just like, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> the, the fucking pasta where it's like, I would drag my balls through a mile of broken glass just to, like, sniff your foot. Like, I would actually probably have done that at age 18 to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking requirement. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you still talk to that girl? Nope. I don't think I talk to... Well, I, I don't know how normal it is to, like, maintain a consistent friendship with, like, your exes, but I feel like it's, like, pretty uncommon as far as I have seen. Same. It's not like you hate each other or whatever. It's just, like, you're not going to stay friends. Uh-huh. 